So we're in the middle of harvesting here, and we see we got quite a few boxes. We've harvested, oh, probably not, maybe half of it, maybe not quite half of it. All those boxes are harvested back there. Those are the ones from Honey Hill Farm where I kind of manage his hives for him. We got one more five gallon bucket back here we're gonna set. So we got four five gallon buckets basically out of those eight boxes of, of uh, honey. So here's kind of our setup with the comb cappers here. You can see it's a sticky mass. There's our extractor, the Maxent 20 framer. And what we do is we run it in these buckets right here. The filter, we like to double filter it. So, so there's some wax and stuff on the top of that. And then we will pull that filter out. It's just a five gallon paint strainer filter. And we will filter it into, this is a clean bucket here. It's a clean filter. This is a second filter. We'll run that out, double strain it, and we'll put a lid on and it's ready to go. It's kind of how we'll do it. We will um, get this thing filled up and we can watch it spin. Okay, I'm going to show you how I decap this frame of honey. And it's kind of, we've been going at it for a while, so it's already the sticky mess that it becomes when you harvest honey. Uh, I've got these yellow comb capper things here. The frames fit on there perfectly. We put the comb capper over the edge of a five gallon bucket. It fits on there just right. And then we put a paint strainer inside that to catch the cappings. And then there will be some honey that drifts down that we'll harvest later. So I use, we just use a serrated knife is one way to do it. There's all kinds of ways to do it, but I kind of like to go up. It's just kind of easier for me, I guess, the way my, it's just more, seems more, it's just easier for me this way. You can also go down, just kind of do it however you want. I really like this comb capper better than the decapping tanks that I've used in the past. It just, the frame fits right on there. But you can go down like this too, but I'm just going to go up again. And it, um, just kind of run right up the frame. Sometimes the bees won't fill it out. I didn't. That's one advantage, disadvantage to going up is it does that. If you go down, it kind of rolls off as you do it. But then if there is some, like say this right here, that may not, they don't fill it out past the edges of the frame, you can just kind of roll it if the knife won't get it all really good. And sometimes it'll be that way in the middle of the frame. You can just roll it with the little punch roller here. Then we put, go put it in the extractor. This is a 20 frame Maxon extractor. Bought this last year. It's been a big help. Works really well. Just put it down in there. And uh, that's how we decap. And we'll get this thing loaded up and then we'll show you the extractor spinning here in a minute. Extractor is loaded up. Once again, this is a Maxent 20 frame extractor. We did use that little three frame extractor back there before. Did a lot of hunting with that thing, and it this is definitely a game changer. You can get a lot more done a lot faster with this thing. Um, so, we're going to turn it on here and watch the frame spin around. We'll just leave the uh, safety lid off so you can see. But Turn the switch on. Is it? You think it's, it's this right here? Adjust how fast it goes. If you start off slow, get a little faster. Sometimes, if it's not quite evenly weighted, it'll start jumping around a little bit. Ideally, you'd have it bolted to the floor, but we just don't have that type of setup yet. We're not that big time yet. Faster and faster. You just tighten this down and it, there's a belt. And as the belt tightens down more, it goes faster and faster. So can you look down and see it slinging on the edges? Oh wow, can you see that? That's pretty cool. Starting to drain out in 
our bucket down there maybe. That's how it's done. See it spins out to the edge and then it just runs down the side. The bottom. And it comes out the out the uh, gate. If we fill this thing up with 20 frames, we'll get pretty close to a five gallon bucket with one spinning.